Hey, this is Professor Triplett, and here we go. Let's go to the next part of the lamp. All right. Now I'm going to build this main shaft here that everything basically connects to, or most things do. And how do you think I'm going to do it? Well, if you've watched my other videos, you'll know that I just love curves and revolves. So I'm going to go ahead and start off here, like so. Just come in a little bit with a single click and then I'm going to do another click with a little bit of roundness there and now of course the same thing I keep going through is I forget to turn my x-ray on one of these days I'll remember that and then single click there so there we go that's pretty simple now I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight up all the way to here and pull it out pull my uh, handle out a little bit and then I'm gonna just drop one right about there and then I'm gonna drop another one right about here and I'll fix these later if they're not perfect so um, it's kind of hard to tell because you're just looking at pictures but if you actually had the lamp you'd realize that this cap piece is a separate piece uh, from the base so that's I'm modeling it basically how it's constructed and basically this uh, main shaft slides under and into this piece here this top piece here so that's what I'm replicating right now and uh, we're gonna go ahead and just adjust a few little things here so let's go to the control verts and I think I could just use to Play with this a little bit make it a little bit softer or maybe maybe just have a little bit more of a curve to it now this top one right here and this one on the bottom I want to line up so I'm holding control and shift selecting both I'm going to go to my uh, scale tool and I will just scale them uh, in one axis so that they line up with each other. Okay, that should do it. it. Looks like it's pretty close there, right on the edge. And let's go back to our object mode, and then I'll go ahead and do my revolve. And at this point, the settings are all the same, so I'm just gonna hit revolve, and you can see what we get here. Now again, I may decide later for some of the details that I have to cut in here that I need more uh, more segments in here that it would be easier to use more segments and I may increase the numbers here so we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there we have the uh, the you know bezier already made so um, we could always do a revolve again all right so I'm gonna call this body so G underscore body and then I'll just call this body does yay let's select the two group them and we'll just call this body like so okay all right so again just like we have been doing all along let's go ahead and do the UVs for this so let's go ahead and go into here now um, actually I'll do it I'll do it from the original Maya one so you, we're gonna use the uh, the cylindrical and wrap Okay, so let's just select all the polygons by double clicking, do a cylindrical unwrap, and then let's go ahead and take a look at our UV editor and see what it's coming up with. Okay, looks good. The distortion is on and it doesn't actually look like it's distorting just about at all. Um, that's, that's pretty good. I do think there's gonna be a little problem. Yeah, you can see it here. So there's a little distortion down at the bottom and this part should be pretty okay there's a tiny bit of shading in here but i think it's it's slight enough that i'm not going to worry too much about it these are the parts that i'm a little bit more concerned with so what i'm going to show you can do here is you can go to your edges and just double click on one of these edges and get your move tool out so i just hit w on my keyboard and my move tool let me back up a little bit here holy cow i gotta back up all right let's go back in 
Now I might be able to just go ahead and just slide this a little bit and see when it turns white, then I know it's got the right amount of space. Okay. And you do the same thing here. You can see how that's going to uh, affect it. So I'm going to grab both of these. So just control shift and then click both and maybe pull these up. Now what will happen though is we might be affecting up here, but we'll see. And I'm going to just select that one now, pull that up a little bit. So I just spread those out and now I don't have that red colors. Uh, it's not as much of a problem. Okay. So um, we're going to do the same thing here. Now this one, I want to look and see where I'm at because I don't want to be uh, grabbing the wrong edge. So let's see which one we got. See, we've got this edge and we really want this one here. So I just double click that. And now I had to do that in the 3D view because if I double click on the outside here, it actually, or I should say even like on the bottom here, um, if I actually get the edge, it'll actually, uh, it'll select the entire outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And let's go ahead and move over here. Move towards the middle. Slide this down a little bit. Maybe give a little extra room so it starts turning a little blue because then I'm going to move this one down too. Oh, so see, I got the wrong one. So looking at my, in my 3D view is important. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that down. You can see that that starts changing. When that gets white, I'm going to go ahead and, oops, selected the wrong one. Let's do that again. There we go. Select both of these and then start pulling them out. So once it goes white, I know I've got it right. Um, okay, so let's uh, shift, double click this right here, and we'll pull that down. Do it again. And shift, double click. Let's pull this down a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right. Now I still see, I've seen a little bit of red in here that's not, not exactly what I want, so I'm just going to adjust this a little bit more while I'm here. There we go. That's better. Good enough. I'm being like, just kind of nitpicky with it, but you know, it's, if you do it right the first time, <laughs> you, you know what the rest of the statement is. <laughs> do it right the first time, you won't have this problem. Okay, so double click on here. We can just, so only the outside one you have to worry about getting uh, the whole perimeter. But once you get past that outside one, you can just double click on them and in the view here. And then since I'm not, like let's say I'm way over here and I just want to keep moving this thing. If I click on my widget and it's it turns yellow, I can actually come over here and still be over here and middle mouse drag and it'll start moving it. Middle mouse drag, oops. Oh, actually, you know what? Something's wrong. Uh, apparently, when I reselected, it didn't lock it to the one axis, which I wanted, so I had to redo it. Um, it doesn't matter, though. I could just come over here and use the widget myself, you know, with my cursor. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I mean, it's all white. You know, if you want to check it, throw the, the checkers on. <clears throat> and you can see, as long as these checkers look like nice little squares, you're doing pretty good. They actually look like they're a little bit off to me. So you can see they look a little bit more rectangular, like they're longer in the uh, in like the width. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab everything and come in here with my scale, and I'm just gonna scale this a little bit bigger till they look like squares. There we go. Okay, that's better. Now, if I was being really, 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 really um, well, actually, no, this is this is good. This is fine. But, you know, you could do a little bit of an unfold on it and then use this tool to um, to. Uh, oh, wow. Something triggered. You know what? My mouse has been acting funny and I think it accidentally um, <laughs> it accidentally pressed this button. I've had to do this a few times where it selected stuff on accident. So uh, I guess we're waiting. <laughs> OK, we just did a normalize, I guess. Let me look at my history. Uh, yeah, poly normalize. Um, it doesn't seem like it did anything bad, but I'm going to undo that. And good. Uh, let's see.
Looks like it did a few steps. Not sure why. Oh wait, maybe maybe that maybe it didn't do anything bad. Okay, hold on. So I gotta adjust this again. Let's pull back a little bit. There we go. Okay. Alright, so if I wanted to do an unfold, um, I would go into the actual settings here, go to the legacy, turn this way down to like maybe 50, hit apply. It's gonna it's just gonna fix it, you know, a little bit more and then um, you know, distribute everything a little bit better, and then I can go ahead and, and straighten the UVs. Now if you don't have that option and it looked as good as it did, I wouldn't worry about it, you know, it's it was fine, but I'm just being, you know, what's the word? Anal, I guess. I hate using that word, but I'm being the as a perfectionist, if you will. Okay, so let's look and see now, did this keep the nice squares? Yes, it did. And it should be balanced and even, and you see there's like no distortion, or very, very little distortion, tiny bit. Nothing to wave a stick at though. Yes, wave a stick at, that's what we do in the game industry. We wave sticks at UVs. Okay, um, let's put that there. I'm just gonna scale it a little bit so fits here. So I'm just mentally noting that I have a piece here, a piece here, a piece here. I just don't want to put anything on top of another piece. So there we go. There's the um, the polygons and the UVs for this. And uh, let's move on to the next piece.